Hi guys, Gary back here with another video. Uh, basically, this is going to be a quick video to guide you through uh, getting PB Copy uh, set up on, on your Ubuntu desktop. Basically, uh, PB Copy is functionality that, that is, is present on Mac, uh, but it's not sort of uh, present by default on, on Ubuntu. But you can quickly replicate the, the same kind of functionality uh, using uh, an application on Ubuntu called Xclip. And then you can create an alias um, using Xclip to, to kind of mimic PB copy on your Ubuntu. So basically the, the, the post is uh, one I wrote uh, quite some time ago. But I, I noticed recently uh, somebody's had an issue uh, in the comments section that they couldn't get it working. Uh, they, they reported some kind of weird issue here. And I have no idea what that even means, but I, I think what what that uh, kind of signifies is that they haven't done the installation properly. So I thought I'd I'd step through the installation, uh, probably the long-winded uh, in, installation. I do have a script here where you can basically install it uh, just using the terminal and it's bang. Um, uh, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, you just that but I'll take you through the process uh, what the what the script actually does so if we fire up a terminal window uh, let's just uh, bring this over here as well so you can see the two things in action so uh, typically what you do is update your repos make sure everything is working hunky-dory it should shouldn't take too long in this step there we go. So we're all good to go. Um, so uh, Xclip is available in the default Ubuntu repo, so you don't have to add in any packages or anything like that, So or any package repos. And we'll just use the wire. It doesn't take too long to install. It's not a, a massive app, really. Uh, and there we go, it's done. So it's installed and, and ready to go. Now, in order to create an alias, you just need to edit your, your bash profile or your bash RC file, uh, add in the alias, and then all's good. Uh, what I'll do here is I'll use get it. You can use nano or whatever text ed editor you want, but I'm going to use get it here just because uh, it's got a better UI and you can see exactly what I'm doing here. So there we go. Um, and you can grab any location you feel like. Um, so let's let's grab this one yeah, and let's just bring this over here as well so we can say there we go um, and let's be lazy you know, let's just copy that over you guys don't want to sit, sit and watch me type there we go that's that's a good one so that's it we we've, we've copied and pasted out the those two aliases there you can see the alias command we're using a pb copy and basically, in the, the alias, just uh, if we use PB copy, it'll call xclip and do this x selection of the clipboard. And then we've also created the corresponding PB paste command, which will use uh, xclip in the selection and then, then paste it to the xclip. That's it. That's us done. Um, nothing left to do here. Uh, we can close that. Now, all we need to do is ensure that our current terminal session reads. Uh, our bash profile that we just created because we've just edited that file so we just refresh source um, and clear so that's all pretty good and done uh, so let me show you how to how it works so in this instance uh, I'm just going to copy the contents of of my PHP any file um, that, that's present on my on my machine I'm going to copy it using the terminal and uh, then I'm just going to paste it in, into get it again. Uh, so there we go. So uh, so if I go PHP uh, I and then bar and I say PB copy. Bosh, there's so uh, it's pasted it. So now if I open up get it again, a blank get it, and I just do Control V. You see there, there's there's the whole contents of my um, PHP any file copied and pasted into my getter using pb copy um, so this is pretty 
pretty much the functionality that that that, that exists on Mac. And here it is now on Ubuntu just using alias commands. I hope that's clearer for you guys. Um, for kicks, let's just, um, we could, uh, uh, yeah, why, why not? So so for kicks, let's just, uh, I'll show you how to run that, that script, uh, script file. So let, let's go uh, sudo apt purge. Purge, remove, xclip. There we go. So that, so basically, what I'm doing, I'm uninstalling xclip now. Um, so you don't. Uh, so it's not there anymore. And let's just go and uh, get it. Um, oh, bash rc. So let's go ahead and remove that alias now. We're, we're not interested in that alias. It's gone, edit, save, bang. And if I say source, source, bash RC, there we go. So I refresh that. So now if I try that same command again, php, I, pb copy, there we go. It'll say, hey, it's not there. Uh, how about you install Xclip? So let's go to our C documents, um, CD. Oh, CD, oh. CD documents, oh. CD documents. Uh, I'm sure it's in there. It's, uh, there. There we go, PB copy file. So if I just go, um bash uh, bash dot pb pb copy file so that's just running that bash script that i created all running and now if I go uh, source uh, bash I'll see so it's now gonna source source that now if I do uh, PHP I P PV copy there we go and uh, if i say get it and i'll just go control v you see that it's pasted in so that's the two ways you can uh, install uh, sort of replicate pb copy on, on your your ubuntu machine um hopefully that cleared it up for you guys um you watch me go through it so in the first instance i I manually went and edited my bash profile. Well, I, I manually installed Xclip, manually edited my bash profile, and then uh, it was there. Then you see me uninstall it, uh, remove it, and, and remove the alias as I created. Then you see me run my PB copy file script. All, all these, uh, all the instructions are here on my blog. Uh, fairly easy to find. Uh, if you go to Google, I believe PB copy, uh, PB copy Ubuntu. I'm usually the first result there, um, and that's it. Um, but I'll I'll put a link in the <laughs> in the details below so you can get that. But hopefully that cleared it up for you guys. Uh, if anybody if anybody has any issues, uh, feel free to leave a comment there or uh, throw a comment in in YouTube yeah, and I'll, I'll try and answer it. But it should be a, a fairly simple process for you guys. Uh, but yeah, just let me know if there's any more issues. Thanks. Cheers.